<laughs> You're good. We're sweating too. Yeah. How would you kind of evaluate your guys' offensive performance in the first game? And kind of what are the things that you think you need to improve on as you head into UNLV this mm -hmm. week? Well, I think the obvious thing is penalties. We got to eliminate those penalties and be a lot cleaner when we're out there. And um, I mean, penalties killed our drive, so we just got to clean those up. And I feel like our uh, offense is gonna flow way smoother than it was last week. So, how would you kind of evaluate how the passing game went for for you guys as a whole? Did you feel like it never really got in a rhythm because of the penalties, or did you feel like you kind of got a good yeah. start? I mean, it, it was like a good start. It, it started off pretty well. We we were just on the ball in the beginning. We got a, a few completions down the field, but I feel like. Going forward, we're going to be throwing the ball a little bit more than we did uh, this last week just because our run game was clicking. So we just continued with that and uh, just got through the game with that. Obviously, Eastern Washington was able to throw for 300-plus mm -hmm. against UNLV. What did you see on tape, and what? how does that kind of get you in the mindset of maybe it's a more pass-heavy game this week? Yeah, I mean, we're always watching that film too. So we're, we're seeing what they had success with and uh, implement that into our game and uh, see what they was winning on. and and kind of follow the same tracks that they was on. But um, at the same time, too, they run cover one, and they run a lot of cover three. So that, that exposes a lot of DBs just to play one-on-one -on -one matchups, and we got to win those as receivers. What would you say the kind of the improvement has been from last year to where you guys are at now as a receiver group? Mm -hmm. kind of, do you feel like you were able to kind of demonstrate some of those improvements in the first game, or is there still a lot that you feel needs to be yeah. shown? I mean, there's obviously a, there's always stuff that we can work on more, you know what I mean, and get better at. But just another year under uh, Coach Hill's offense just makes us uh, run a lot faster and run a lot smoother. So just getting used to that offense still. I mean, I mean we're, we're used to it now. So now we're just moving fast. But just those little things and um, that we need to clean up, like penalties and yeah, going forward. You contributed throwing the ball, running the ball, catching the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, more specifically to that point, what part of your game are you most excited about showcasing? throughout the rest of this year? I mean, everything. I believe I can do everything. I'm a really confident player. I believe I can throw the ball, obviously. I can run the ball. I can catch the ball, all that. So wherever I'm going to help my team and just wherever the coaches need me, I'm going to go there and perform to the best of my abilities. As, as far as the trick play goes um, and, and the passing, how long did it take you to get comfortable with? Because uh, it, it seems like when there's reverses and wide receiver passes, a lot of times mm -hmm. ball's underthrown, ball's overthrown. How did you get comfortable in that role? Well, it actually goes back all the time in youth football because I actually started uh, – I played quarterback my whole life up until high school, and that's actually when I uh, played receiver and then started uh, transitioning from there. But, um, I mean, just, just in practice, going over and practicing and practicing that every day and then just getting comfortable and then obviously just going out there with confidence. I mean, you can't go out there and just kind of like second-guess yourself and be like, oh, am I going to throw it short? Now you got to go out there and visualize yourself completing it because then that's what you're going to do out there. The team's tight ends have – seem to kind of grow in this offense a little bit this year, and they mm -hmm. had a pretty good game against Southern Utah. What, what did you think of, of how they performed, and also how have you seen their role expand within yeah. this offense? I think they did really well. I told Kurt like the other day, I was like, you had a really good game. Just like keep going, keep improving, and um, go back to practicing the drawing board and see what you can improve on and keep going. Don't be satisfied, you know what I mean? But like in the past for Coach Hill's offense, the tight ends have been doing really good for, for in the past for him. So, I mean, just our offense uh, deals with a lot of tight end situations, so we're just going to continue with that. And uh, I mean, just being a playmaker at the end of the day. I mean, we got playmakers at tight end, a receiver, quarterback, running back, all that. Going into the UNLV game, what kind of goals do you guys have as a passing game uh, to go into that one just trying to achieve? Mm -hmm. I mean, just improve. I mean, we can. that's all we can do. We can improve every single day in every game. So just improving on the pass game. I mean, just get clicking right away, start fast. Because I, I feel like if we start fast with the passing game, we're just going to advance from there and get better throughout the game and get our confidence up early. What have you been working on this week to try and improve there? I mean, just putting new plays in. I mean, going over film, seeing where we can expose them at, seeing where the weakness is at, and then just doing that. I mean, just repetitions and practice is what gets your confidence up and at the end of the day. So, yeah. yeah. Kind of a crazy week in the pack. Saw a lot of teams, especially in the North, yeah. lose their openers. Does that kind of make you guys think twice about looking ahead past some weaker opponents? No, I mean, we're not looking ahead at all. We take one game at a time. I mean, for us, we're, we're just seeing our, our situation. You know what I mean? We're not worried about other teams right now. We're worried about where we're at and what we can do to make ourselves better. In it, you know what I mean? So, like, the penalties, we got to fix that, obviously. But we're just looking at ourselves and analyzing ourselves. We're not really worried about whoever we're playing. We're playing faceless opponents. You know what I mean? So, what are your thoughts on the on ball that Jaden hit you for? I think it was. Gain of 22 or whatever it was, the noticeable arm strength that he's displayed there, it seems like is on another level than it was even last year or two years yeah. prior. Have, what have you noticed in terms of his ball placement and his um, arm strength in yeah. that regard? 
it goes back to summer. I mean, just being in the weight program with Coach Joe got him stronger, so that, that made his arm strength better. And then just uh, going back to the summer again, like with me and him, just getting that cl uh, trust and clicking. I mean, he knew I was going to be at that spot. He threw me to a spot, you know what I mean? Like, he didn't just throw me there because he was just guessing. And, uh, he knew I was going to be there, so he threw it there, and I just ran under it and made the play. Thanks, Ricky. All right, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it.